This TikToker, his name's Lee. Now Lee, he loves to make videos with his girlfriend, Jazz, and her four awesome kids. So one morning, Lee has a great idea for a prank on the kids. And he tells Jazz this idea, and she's on board. So Jazz goes to hide in the garage. And Lee, he goes in the kids' room to wake them up. And that's when he tells them that Jazz, their mom, has passed away from cancer. Y'all ain't hear the ambulance come last night? Oh, yeah, mama dead, bro. And this prank goes about as well as you would expect. Come on. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. And one of the daughters repeatedly asks Lee to stop filming. Stop recording! But he doesn't. And finally, Jazz comes out of hiding to surprise her kids and tell them that she's still alive. Got you! <laughs> Got you! Got you! <laughs> so then Lee posts the video to YouTube, it makes its way over to TikTok, and people were not feeling this prank. I've seen parents do some sick to their kids to go viral, but this is by far and away one of the worst. Yeah, the internet gets super mad. They say he's traumatizing the kids, they threaten to call Child Protective Services, and Lee is just completely unbothered by all this. Y'all the ones that talking about time for the call CPS. Look, I'm about to call CPS on y'all, man. Because obviously, y'all not watching y'all kids. Y'all too busy watching everything I post. In fact, he makes another prank video telling the kids CPS is coming for him. They trying to get CPS involved. Look how y'all got Jaleel. But the kids had already been fooled once, they're not buying it. Trick us. A tricky eye. And the internet doesn't like any of this, so they really start going after the mother, Jazz. They find out where she works, they call her employer, they start sending all these videos of her pranking her kids, and then... I got fired today. Yes, I got fired. She got fired from her job. Her job is, of course, working at a children's hospital. And she seems genuinely hurt about all this. That's everything to me, to provide for my family. And you guys did y'all part. That's what y'all wanted. Then Lee and Jazz ask the internet to help them find a lawyer to sue for wrongful termination. If anybody know a lawyer to point us in the right direction. But it's around this point in the story, Lee appears to start to understand that maybe he shouldn't have played that prank on his kids. Because he made a 10 minute apology video. I apologize for the video. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing but a prank. I wouldn't mean, think that y'all gonna take it they see it. And he rambles a lot, but he does apologize in there at least twice. So I give it a 5 out of 10. But I wish the best for all of them, and especially for the kids.